Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hi and welcome to the May 15th Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is uh, located in here in North Texas, so uh, the weather is definitely subject to change without notice right now here in North Texas. We've had this pattern, uh, El Nino thing has taken hold a little bit later in the year than usual, and so we've got rain coming every day. Everything up here in North Texas is pretty much blown out. Uh, the lakes are over conservation pool, creeks, everything um, is completely pretty much unfishable right now. What we're looking for, for is things to settle down and then maybe get a little better. I'm not hearing anything about the coast right now. I haven't had time really to look at the uh, Facebook pages for our posts for these guys that are guides on the coast. So you'll just have to go out and find that on your own. I'm sure it'll be quite easy. And uh, as we go forward, we're hoping that this rain will kind of taper off and we'll get into a normal pattern if you're able to get on a lake, like Ray Roberts, for example, is closed. Basically, all the parks are closed and everything is shut down. Uh, and the dam is wide open. I've been been fishing below the dam the last couple of days, and there's not any anything going on there yet. There's plenty of bait fish there, but I'm not seeing or catching any hybrids or anything like that. It's kind of late in the year, and the water is flowing a lot more than it did five years ago before the drought. Uh, the one time that we did do that so long ago but it can happen so we'll keep trying and see if uh, and obviously have a fish flash on uh, Instagram or on uh, the Twitter feed if uh, you follow those you'll get an idea first up what uh, what's going on through those resources uh, meanwhile on the lake itself as I was about to say the parks are all closed down the water is just muddy as you could ever imagine right now um, it'll clear quickly, of course, as the level goes down and the zebra mussels filter all that out. So what I'm seeing now is you finally get to see some things like the boat ramps where they have the, the walkways that go out. They pulled those out of the water and they're just covered with zebra mussels. So it gives you more of an idea of really how infested the lake like Lake Ray Roberts is with zebra mussels. There's a whole lot of questions about why uh, the Army Corps of Engineers waited so long to open the dam. It doesn't seem like there's much... Uh, uh, organization or coordination they should have done this weeks ago and it's kind of led us to this point where we they're releasing probably around 3500 CFS at Lake Ray Roberts haven't been down to Louisville I've heard hearing all kinds of things about why they didn't release the water including the fact or uh, the fact the the first-hand information I got from a Army Corps of Engineer contractor that there's a leak in the dam at Louisville and they can't find it and that's why they were trying to keep the pressure off that dam from from releasing water at Lake Ray Roberts so very frustrating right now but uh, you know there are brighter days ahead of course now that the drought if you look at the drought map for Texas basically it's disappearing um, there's still low water in a lot of the reservoirs in central Texas and the hill country area north just nearby north of Austin so that'll go on for a while. Um, shifting gears, if you guys have the chance, tomorrow is the Tailwaters Anniversary Party. That's Tailwaters Fly Fishing Company there in uptown, downtown Dallas. Whatever you want to call it. It's uptown, downtown. That's on McKinney Avenue. And you really should go by there if you have a chance, if you're nearby, because it's really a great party. On Sunday, day after tomorrow, uh, the Fly Fishing Film Tour stops in Fort Worth, so that is a great opportunity to get some good fly fishing porn uh, in your brain and get you all primed and ready for a, what I think is going to be a pretty spectacular s summer and going into fall because of the way um, the rain always tapers off. You know, we've got a couple more weeks of this apparently, but it will. It, the rain always comes, I guess, and the rain always goes, so we'll see how it turns out. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any information out there about fly fishing, uh, any hot spots or anything, let me know. You know, as this this flood water is going through, I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing some mega sized grass carp 
below the dam, Ray Roberts, I've seen lots of gar, but they're just not in that eat mode. So we'll just keep trying and see if we can come up with some deadly combination um, that we can pass along to you so you can catch fish too. Thanks for watching Texas Flycasters Friday Fly Fishing Report. Make sure that you check out the website, www.texasflycaster.com, for a whole lot more information, including, you know, posts and stories uh, from 2008, 9, when, uh, and 10, when this flooding, you know, we had the same situation, except not quite this big, uh, in 2010, where we caught hybrids below the dam and things like that. Of course, the YouTube channel is always there with those videos as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and be careful out there. Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it, and we'll be glad to get it on the report.